A woman caught the dramatic end of a two county police chase on camera. Tonight, we know more about the driver running from police and talk to an eyewitness who commends officers for finally stopping the man. LEX 18's Lee Searcy has more in tonight's big story at six. Oh, here, everybody be careful. Oh, crap. That's oh, crap. Isaiah Stupart and his girlfriend no, driving east on right the Mountain here. Parkway here, Sunday uh, afternoon over, over, when they saw over, trouble over, coming. Seriously. Get over right now, hurry. It's not over. His girlfriend kept no. recording. No, 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 get over. Police say that's 30 year old Aaron Elliott jumping out of the truck. <gasps> He's running. He's run. Run. Get him, get him, run. get him. Elliott didn't get far. They arrested him soon after. It's a chase officers say started in Clark County and ended over the Powell County line. They say Elliott's truck oh, no, crossed no, the median, no, no, and as you can see, a police cruiser was on his tail when the two collided. But hang on, there's more. Elliott took off in the opposite direction until he was struck by another officer's cruiser, which finally stopped him. That was the first time either one of us, me or my girlfriend, had seen anything, you know, like that in our lives. So, you know, the reactions that you see in the video from me and her, those are our raw, like, natural reactions. Elliott's now in the Powell County Jail, charged with assault of a police officer fleeing or evading, resisting arrest, and not having insurance. When we asked for an interview in jail, he told staff, quote, I'd rather not. We also checked his court record, which didn't show a serious criminal background. As for the officers whose cruisers collided with Elliott's truck, the Stanton police chief tells us they're okay. That's good news to the couple who witnessed it all. At the end of the day, we are, we want to reiterate that we're, we're super, you know, happy to hear that no one was hurt in this situation. It was great to see that, you know, the officers who put their lives at risk, you know, didn't end up with any serious injuries. In Powell County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.